Today unboxing is on the Tomica Asia exclusive, the Honda Civic Collection. Being an Asian exclusive, this box set will not be available in Japan and that's sad news for Japanese collector. However, there are no new casting in this box set, all are familiar casting such as the FK8, the pair of Type R Euro and also the Type R FK2 in black. There's also a reissue of the 54 Civic Type R Euro, which has now been retired. And the bad news, there's no Type R FD2 in this box set. Instead, you have a duplicate Type R Euro casting. The Type R Euro casting are totally identical, except for the color difference. It's small, in one is to 68 scale. Both comes with standard factory suspension and opening rear. And now the comparison for the Euro Type R, with the retired casting, apart from the body color hue, which the retired version is much more down, everything is the same and there's no difference. In my opinion, two similar Euro Type R is really unnecessary for this box set. And now for the FK2 Type R in black, apart from the interior difference, the box set has a red interior, while the main line in 2016 has a black. You can see it's totally identical to the first color release back in 2016. This first color type R in black back in 2016 is a highly desirable model. Many collectors are trying to get the first color release and it was sold out in an instant. If you are a variation collector, the FK2 first color in black is still a casting you need to pursue. Next, the Honda Civic Type R FK8. This casting is no stranger to every collector. Tomica has released several versions of this casting. I remember this casting in blue. Also appears in the Tokyo Auto Salon exclusive with the logo on it. And I like the Type R Euro or the FK2. This casting doesn't have any opening parts with only a standard factory suspension. Apart from that, it's a very well made casting. Welcomed by many collectors. It has a lot of realism factor. And the front headlight is in plastic insert instead of painted which is a plus point. And now the mystery, why no Type R FD2 in this Honda Civic collection? This 54 Civic Type R FD2 in white back in 2007 command one of the highest insane price tag in the reseller market. Today, no collectors or reseller can really comprehend why this casting commands such a high price in the reseller market. And if this casting is released into the box set, which I hope it does, it may impact the reseller market, but do Takara Tommy really care? If you have an answer to why the FD2 is so expensive, or rather this FD2 is not inside the box set, to give your comments below, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks everyone, bye!